Hello and welcome to episode 14 of my 1860 Munich career mode. Um, early April right now, the season winding down. The first game of this episode was against Braunschweig. Um, I can't remember how we did the first time. I think we can't remember. I don't know if we beat them or if we drew them. We didn't lose. Um, but there's the table. We still are in third. Very much a part of this promotion race. Um, the first the goal we got here, 58th minute. Nothing really happened in the first half. But um, Yasin Benzia, excuse me, in the 58th minute, scoring, putting us ahead 1-0 here. Excuse me again. Lucas P had so nice cross there. Um, got another opportunity here from Benzia on the weak foot, though. Tries to come in and tries to put it in the corner, a little far wide. Um, definitely, I'm happy with this team. I'm happy with the 3-5-2 now that I'm starting to use it. I feel like the three defend the three center backs are doing a pr do a pretty good job back there. As it could be a better, could be a lot worse. Um, and this was just a hectic finish. I hate that he, this happens on this game. We really should have been scored on here. I can't believe we didn't concede. Hits the post. Just <laughs> bounces around and somehow they don't score. And Kiraly ends up putting his hands in the air like he did something there. But he did absolutely nothing. But um, anyway, wanted to do a squad report here. Gabor Kiraly. Pardon me. Gabor Kiraly, 69 overall, has gone down by one, retiring at the end of the year. Um, and I got asked by somebody to do this, so that's why I'm doing it. Kerbrot, 71 overall, has gone up by three. Christopher Schindler, 70 overall, has gone up by five. Marvel Wynn, 70 overall, up by four. Grzegorz Wojtkowiak, 72 overall, gone up by three. Hopefully I didn't butcher his first name there. Grigori Smakos. Grigori Smakos, 75 overall, up by 3. Moritz Stoppelkamp, 74 overall, up by 4. Uh, Lucas Piazzone, 76, 67 overall, up by 6. Sebastian Meyer, 65 overall, up by 4. Yassine Benzia, 67 overall, up by 4. Jamal Bakar, 71 overall, up by 3. Benjamin Lau, 71 overall, has not gone up, despite having a pretty solid season. Bernie Abini SA, 61 overall, has not gone up. Vitus Eicher, Eicher, 61 overall, hasn't gone up. Dominique Stahl, 67 overall, up by 3. Punch Messina Mela, 66 overall, has not gone up. Daniel Halfar, 73 overall, has gone up by 4. Moritz Volts, 68 overall, has not gone up. Manuel DiCecco, 53 overall, has not gone up. Ronald Lelan, 54 overall, has gone up by 5. Pedro Izagu, 62 overall, has not gone up. Marin Tomasov, 66 overall, has not gone up. Daniel Yais, 61 overall, has gone not gone up. Marcus Sarais, 62 overall, has gone up by 1. Guillermo Valori, 68 overall, has gone down by 1. Daniel Barofka, 63 overall, has gone down by 4 and is retiring at the end of the year. Arne Fike, 66 overall, has gone up by 3. He's on loan at Braunschweig. And that is it. <clears throat> a little rough, but maybe the next time it'll be better. I'll probably do it at the beginning of the... Um, not at the beginning, but kind of a couple games into season number 2. Um, the next game was against, was against SV Sandhausen. We went there. First time we played them, we didn't play too well. Um, they've, Sandhausen has done a lot better since, um, we only beat them 1-0, Bernie Abini say scored in stoppage time, it was a nice goal, um, but this game went quite a bit better, Benjamin Louth taking one touch here and a nice kind of dropping shot into the corner past the keeper in the 23rd minute, shushing the crowd and playing the violin, what a dick, why, why would you do that, don't care, I'm happy that I scored. Benjamin Louth, he kind of kind of fades away and you don't really realize he's there for a few games and then a couple games later he can just have a game like he did here. Comes in a lot like the first one. That one was inside the box. A little I don't can't 
That one was inside the box. Uh, a little closer in, but in the 40th minute, Louth scores once more. Right into the corner again. And late in the half, here's Piazon here. And some nice dribbling. Getting by the defender here, passing to Benzia. Benzia going to cut back. Look for Piazon here. There's Piazon, finds Meyer. Meyer to Louth. Louth on the weak foot. It takes him one half to get a hat trick. Three for Benjamin Louth in the first half. Gotta love that. Not sure what I'm going to do with him um, in the summer. I don't know if I'm going to keep him or if I'm going to decide to sell him. He is 31 years old. But the guy can use finish when he's in the zone. So 23rd, 40th, and the 45th are when the three goals from Louth came. Um, Sandhausen pretty much had the wind taken out of their sails here. Tried to get something going here. Stoppelkamp didn't really get a good cross in here. Um, just tried to make the right passes in this game because you don't need to force anything. Um, Hellfire, who just came on, good left-footed effort off the bar. Benzia with a wide-open goal to shoot at. And an hour in, and we are up 4-0. Um, this was clearly the most dominant we've ever been. Sandhausen put up a decent fight last time we played them. Um, I don't know what it was. They're higher up in the table. They were like bottom three when we played them before. Um, we, we only won 1-0. But anyway, we came out with a 4-0 victory. Three from Laup, one from Menzia. Um, that is it for the 14th episode of my 1860-minute career mode. Got a big game coming up against Kaiser Slaughter. Um, that will be for the next episode. If you'd like to, please like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you next time.